Diana, Mr. Barry, I didn't know you were on board. I'm moving seats. I was too close to the smoking car. Congratulations on your impending nuptials, dear boy. You must be embroiled in a flurry of wedding plans. Hmm? My advice, say yes to everything. It's safer. <laughs> Sir, I apologize. I wasn't permitted to tell you earlier, but I can now say that I'm not engaged, so I won't be moving to Paris. Does this mean you're going to Queens after all? Actually, I'll be attending the University of Toronto. It'll serve me better for my career. Well, enjoy your journey. Opportunity to, I would have. In fact, I, I went over. You've had every opportunity for years. Admit it. You've been smitten with Anne ever since she first came to Avonlea and smashed her slate over your head. There have been countless clues, and you certainly can't deny you were beguiled by her at dance practice. Even though it turns out you were secretly courting a mystery debutante, who you had the temerity to step out with at the county fair with no word of warning. Then you show up at the ruins after exams and demand to know how Anne feels about you, and give her all of thirty seconds to decide her entire future. And worst of all, you callously ignore the letter Anne wrote to you, even though she told you she loved you. What letter? Diana, what letter? 